Hey, what is going on, YouTube? AA Ron here. We are in the Allen M. Sumner. The, honestly, the best destroyer at Tier 8, guys. This is the newest tech tree addition to World of Warships Legends. The uh, <clears throat> Tier 8, basically gearing. Um, this ship is insane. All right, you can, you can calm down. Um, it, it's really... I, it's basically a gearing with slightly worse AA and better maneuverability, uh, in all honesty. I really enjoy this ship. Uh, we've got a few games in it, and we actually uh, globaled our way to, to uh, full completion of this ship. Um, so the base torpedoes are not, th not that great, as well as, uh, I think, a hull upgrade. And we can look at those, um, those uh, upgrades at the end here, as well as our stats and uh, commander fully upgraded. Uh, we're running moored off here. Obviously, we got Twist and Track. This is definitely a gunboat. I, I, and no, you know, no offense to the person who posted this, but I saw like a Facebook post. It's like, yeah, I got 20 kilometer range. Y you're you're literally just wasting your time. I think even the the 16 kilometer range is too much. Um, these are basically fire and forget torpedoes. So, uh, but we have Mr. Nordic Toast here. He's a supporter of the stream. We're gonna go ahead and get the capture point, Buffalo, Belfast, and then a few other battleships. We're gonna get the capture point and spot for our team. As that is 110% your responsibility in in a uh, uh, that guy has eight kilometer torps. Engine boost activated. We got a bunch of friendlies here, so we're gonna shoot at the Stenley. I wouldn't have done that if I thought we were in any sort of real danger. I would have kept guns dark. But as you can see, we're dodging here. We're creating a, a low profile, and he's lost a lot more health than we have at this time. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and fire our torpedoes away over there because there's a huge cluster of ships. As you can see, our battleships lobbing shells over. Gotta love that, man. Gotta love battleships players. Obviously not shooting at the, the biggest threat on the board right in front of them. But that's how you lose games, and uh, we're, we're gonna try and teach that for you guys. Like I said, I'm gonna try and do be doing a lot more of these solo videos uh, to 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 kind of keep the uh, you know to to help improve gameplay. You know, me talking through these games. A lot of people. That's how I started my channel. A lot of people love those. Uh, we've got two. I should have put those torps narrow. But in the meantime, we will damage the uh, the heck out of this. These these boys over here. Uh oh, back in the smoke. There we go. Yeah, I should have put those torps narrow. We missed actually most of our torps. Pretty good fire chance, as you can see. And re just really a good overall ship. There you go, there you go. There you go, battleship. Shoot at the destroyers, that away. Yeah, we're just ticking away this fire damage here. It's... Oh, they actually, they saved the cap. Well played. Good work. Oh, we are on Hydro, though, so that is not good. But if he decides to come this way, it's only a 60-second Hydro on that guy. We probably will get lobbed by these ships over here. Actually, should we go in for the massive damage total, boys? I mean, we got two battleship, three battleships here. Still ticking that fire. Here, 
right, let's go for it. Okay, so he's gonna obviously back up, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one ahead, and one behind. And then we're gonna get out of dodge, because their secondaries might tear me up here. Yeah, you're dead. Goodbye, buddy. Oh, really? Problem solved, They're both willing each other, which is the problem. Okay. Risky play, but we made it. we get their rudder taken out as, uh, as consequence. Maybe not the most uh, expert play there, but we did have a lot of battleship support. Shout out to our, our, our boys over here for, for spamming those guys while, while still shooting at the destroyer. I saw Toast shooting at him a lot. Uh, we played it nice and close, um, but again, we had the battleship support. If we didn't, that would, that would have been a, a risky play. Now, we also do need to be careful of this. Uh, uh, yeah. What's it called? Uh, Belfast over here. Problem solved, sir. Oh, he left the... Okay. Not sure what he's doing. Engine boost activated. Did he beach over... He did. He left the cap over there. Stop that. Problem solved, sir. Again, so we're kind of playing this a little risky, but our team has this this match well in hand. So let's go back and get the capture point. That was our objective, but the enemy team rushed, so we had to retreat. We did so in a kind of a safe, effective manner while defending the cap, focusing the DD, calling out important targets to our battleships. And then we set up a little crossfire, a little flank here. Um, we could have gone further and torped, but again, your your job in a gunboat is to gun. And you saw how pretty... We have 95,000 damage. Now, a lot of that is fire damage and, you know, can be healed back. So not the most effective, but still very effective instead of just waiting two minutes for your torps to reload. Well, let's grab this cap here, uh, move on, and, and kind of finish out and get some some nice XP and, and show you guys the ship, uh, the stats in the store, uh, the store in the in the port. So you can see right now with engine boost, we're about at forty knots. Yeah, forty point six looked like our engine top speed there. Deactivated. Cheeky fellow. Wow, that was close. Requesting assistance. I mean, this game's actually closer than you know, this is this is a close game. Good, good hit. Let's see, is this guy gonna turn? Okay, I bet he turns and then turns back. So we're gonna we're gonna do actually. Smoke generator started. Let's go for some damage here, boys. We kinda we kinda laced him with torps there. He's double fired. Hopefully, yeah, spit that out. Give me that flood. Republic's a strong ship, and it won't really be too susceptible to HE spam. But, you see, we're panning half. Just gotta find him again. We'll go out and do our job in spot. Oh, that's perfect. You gotta love that. 
Okay, so we're actually t down on ships here. So I'm going to make sure I don't get radared. Did we miss the torps? Man, I... Bro, my torps never want to seem to, to, like... <laughs> they always split people, you know what I mean? RNG. Yeah, we could have stacked them there uh, to, to increase our chances of hitting, but... All right, make sure we kill this Belfast, boys. That's... Destroyed. We'll get one more set of torps here. Okay, we're we should be all right. We could honestly probably gunboat this as well, but we'll, we'll just, uh, we'll probably we'll try and play it. We'll play it safe. We'll play it safe. Play for the win. That's what you should always do. Where's their Bismarck? Our victory is in sight. That's what I want to know. I'm not sure where these guys are running to. Like, understanding the board, they're going to lose the game. Now they're definitely going to lose. Yeah, I don't know why they're they're continually running that way, because it looks like their cruiser captured that cap. Uh, but we will get one more cap here, you know, and definitely assure the victory, as well as maybe spot the, the Bismarck, who probably can't run away that quickly. We had a pretty good team on our flank. Toast definitely did his job. Weimar tier 7 doing its thing, you know? We might as well throw one more set of zoning torps. Again, these torps are probably... Unless you kind of suicide like I did. Um, they're more zoning torps. You're not going to be getting... Uh, the the concentrated hits that you would be from a lightning or, you know, a consistent, consistently better, you know, mid-range torp boat. Obviously, the IJN or the, the, the torp boat class where their torps hit really hard, good reload, good speed. Um, but something like... A, the Germans or the or the or the British can have that that mid-range torping ability and and still still uh, maintain the good guns, uh, but you're not really going to get that with the, the Americans are pure gunboats. So to spec into torps, you know, for for every ship except for maybe the 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 summer the summers, not the Sumner. Yeah, these guys are all going up the middle. But uh, we'll get the cap and uh, enjoy their enjoy their loss. Toast. Did we get him? Did we get him in return. Can I cheese one more defend ribbon out of this? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oof. The right play would be to run away here. They've lost on capture points, which is why getting the bases is so important. It's not about kills, it's not about damage. Those metrics are nice, but they are not important. Yep, well played.
GG's boys, like we said, well played Toast as well. 2800 base XP first in there. 186 target hits, 7 fires, 2 torp hits. Again, I'm not the, the best at torping, but you just you got those those American decent torps uh, to do stuff with. And let's check out the stats in the meantime. Survivability, this is with Sims on our build, so a little bit more than you would get it, be getting base. Uh, 3x2, 127s is basically the gearing without um, a little bit of armor and uh, that added AA. Um, so that's why you got those guns like that. 2x5, two 533s, like we said, gearing torps basically. 16.5 range, which is just too much. 18,000 max damage, 17.9, uh, with 66 knot speed. Pretty good. Um, AA defense is, not, like we said, not the best, but still still good. You know, it's an American American ship, and they love putting guns on everything. 37 knot top speed, pretty agile little destroyer. We saw us out turn that torp there. You know, slower, slower British torp, but still. Um, you know, we were able to dodge it, even though it was very close. 5-4 uh, Concealment, and that is with, uh, that is with, um, what's it called? Bay as an inspiration. This is the Commander build, Observant Rage, look at me now. Perceptive, you don't really need to traverse with Twist and Track, so I go Perceptive. Sheltered Arms, which works, I feel like, a lot better than it does on the gearing, and Unstoppable. We have Eric Bay, as we said, and William Sims to increase... The health. Uh, your gunboat, you need to be gunning down targets as we were. You know, putting ourselves in potentially risky situations, but like we said, those battleships were there to support us, so we were able to uh, to kind of YOLO torp, quote-unquote, there. Um, that could have ended a lot worse for us, um, and it might have even cost us the game, but we we, we did it in a fashion, um, you know, when they were on reload, and we, we almost assured that they, they were going to die there. Uh, we didn't get the, the kill. <laughs> he was willing, him, you know, the awesome perk, will to rebuild. He was willing himself um, up there. But uh, yeah, that is the ship. That is the the build and the stats. And like we said here, um, you got a gun upgrade, which increases the damage and the reload, a range increase, a torpedo increase, and a hull increase. So yeah, you the base stats were like 15, 14, 15,000. We can get it up to, to 20, 20, 21 there um, with Sims. So that is the Sumner, the uh, in a... Newer ship to Legends, I believe, or uh, to to um, World of Warships, because I don't think it was on PC uh, as as an American. I think it was on as a different Pan Asian or something like that. But uh, um, yeah, our newest Tech Tree Tier Eight and a good looking ship, nonetheless, a great ship to play, and honestly, my favorite pick for Destroyer. So there was a live replay first look for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hey, you're on out. Peace.